Hi, I'm Derek Rodway. Today we're out in the Getaway 484 Pro model by Angler Pro. Now, one of the key things I want to talk about with this boat is just the amount of room that's in this main cockpit area, even though it's only a 4.8 metre boat. And the trick to that is how they've designed this transom. Now, if you've looked at other Angler Pro models, the enclosed transom that comes with the, the Pro models in the Bandit and the Getaway, etc., is pretty standard. But usually when you get up around this size, you start running a pod design with a lot of the other brands. So what AngleProve have done is stretch it out to be able to keep a 4.8 with a flat transom like this. By doing that, they've created a huge amount of internal room in the boat. And because of AngleProve's X-Core construction, the rugged and solid structure of this boat allows for this boat to hold a maximum 80 horsepower. Now, 80 horsepower will have this boat humming along in the upper 60 km an hour range. It's a very, very quick package with that engine, uh, but it's not overpowered. The boat with the Sabre hull design really does hold that horsepower well, and I think for most people would find it absolutely exhilarating to drive. Let's take a closer look through the features that come through this package. Uh, to pull all together, even though it's a classic old runabout, been around for decades, there's something magical about a runabout when it comes to just having so much room to work with. All right, the front of the boat, we've got the, the rail design with the bowsprit roller, the anchor well, which is drained, and a cross bollard. This boat's been optioned up with the spray chines, uh, which in a runabout, I would think is a pretty cool thing to put on the boat. Definitely something that works well in, in a choppy day. Unfortunately, we don't have any chop to play with today, so we can't show you the effectiveness of the spray chines. Uh, but certainly, spray chines grab a lot of water, and uh, if they're grabbing the water and pushing back down, it means the water's not coming up and in, over and into the main cockpit of the boat. In the main driver helm, you've got a nice wide a console there. You can run a, a Lorance Elite 9 if you wish across that. Um, we've got a Elite 7 here with a gauge in the current setup here, and there's still enough room there for switch panels and radio, stereo, whatever you want to put in there as well. Passenger side, got a neat little glove box area there with a couple of cup holders and just a storage area to put your keys, wallet, phone, that kind of thing. There's a lot of area underneath that foredeck and you can actually access that from the driver or passenger side or you can actually put a little inspection port where the walkthrough is there and get further access in under there as well. So if you want to offload life jackets or other things you may not need in a regular basis, that's a great, what, great place to put it. That little walkway there is also a neat little feature as well. You've got really good access all the way through to the front of the anchor well. So for casting an anchor, it's very, very easy to access, really good um, ability if you've got a, quite a heavy anchor, you're running a heavy anchor in your boat, you'll find it very easy to manipulate and do what you need to do up the front here. Side pockets are standard, their side rails are standard. Uh, it comes standard with a nice comfortable back seat in a swing away format. You can option up to the seat box, which is what we've done with this boat here. Now the seat box gives you a lot of extra storage in the boat and it is easily removable so don't be discouraged in putting a seat box in if you do a lot of fishing because it's only six screws, the seat box can come out and stay at home. But the days you go out with your family or you're needing a lot of extra gear to come with you, the seat box offers really good storage options and it's very comfortable to sit on as well. The getaway comes standard with a single bait tank. Um, it is a drain tank but it's not plumbed. It is an option to plumb that up with an, and easily done. This boat's had the second bait tank fitted as well with the bait board. Uh, we've also fitted a second boarding step to this boat. It is standard with a single boarding step. Cross bollards are standard as well. So overall, the boat has everything you could possibly need to, to do a good day's boating, whether it's offshore fishing or just playing on some of the local beaches. Whatever you want to do, it can do it. We've even got customers with getaways that have taken these boats two, three, four hundred kilometres down the coast off New South Wales. Um, something that will take a little bit of planning to do, but they've definitely done it. So the getaway has a truly good name for the boat. It is something you can take and get away. Come down to your local dealer. They'd love to go through the getaway packages with you. I think you'll find they're extremely good value for money and you'll be blown away with just how much usable space there is in a boat like this. I'll just touch on a couple of technical things. The boat is standard with a three mil side sheet, the three mil bottom sheet. On a dummy trailer, it'll weigh in around about a tonne. And a beam on this boat is 2.2 metres and obviously overall length just over 4.8 metres. On a trailer you need to allow around about 5.8, 5.9 metres to store it in your, local, in your garage. A great package, well worth you having a look at. Go down to your local dealer and I'd love to go through the Anglerbrook getaway with you.